primitive Christianity believed in reincarnation. As we know, Christianity originated from Judaism, and its Old Testament is the classic scripture of Judaism. In the popular Bible versions nowadays, there are only traces of reincarnation though. For example, in Matthew chapter 17 verses 10 to 13, the disciples asked him, Why then do the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come first? Jesus replied, To be sure, Elijah comes and will restore all things. But I tell you, Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him, but have done to him everything they wished. In the same way, the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was talking to them about John the Baptist. This passage implies that John the Baptist is the reincarnation of a liar. However, the popular Bible versions today, including the Masoretic text, are only composed of copies from the 9th century AD, rather than the original version. It was not until the discovery in 1947 of the Dead Sea Scrolls, which were written between 200 BC and AD 68, that a significant amount of scriptures which had been deleted from the 9th century Bible were revealed through the collaborative textual criticism of scholars worldwide. In 1947, Professor Sukhanik of Israel studied the Dead Sea Scrolls and obtained three scrolls of the Old Testament belonging to the Jewish sect of the Essenes for the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. It was discovered that Essene believers believed in fate, the immortality of the soul, and reincarnation. For instance, the Dead Sea Scrolls record that the Qumran Essenes waited for the high priest Melchizedek from Genesis to reincarnate and return. This sect of Judaism was vegetarian, emphasized celibacy, practiced asceticism in the wilderness, and copied the Bible, thus preserving the precious Dead Sea Scrolls. Therefore, early Christianity believed in reincarnation. However, in the 6th century, the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian the first managed to declare reincarnation a heresy and imprisoned Pope Vigilius, who supported this belief at that time. He also began to remove reincarnation from the Bible. Scholars speculate that the primary reason for rejecting reincarnation was the fear that it would undermine the significance of Christ's redemption and reduce the church's revenue from the unity of state and church.